Or no, not fine tune, a uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be doing Power of Two Suns contract. So for this contract, we have to bring two solar panels up to solar plant B. So I'll show you where we're at here in just a little bit once we get moving. Let's get the solar panels. So we are on the map of Heartlands. And this is, I, I don't know what the technical name is, but I think it's like a railway terminal or something. That might just be the first map only, I'm not really sure. But I just wanted to get moving. I feel like more people click away from the video if I show the map right away, instead of just start driving. So, uh, we're just going to see if this has any effect on that. Probably not. Worth a try. And after this, we have to go visit a certain point. And then from that point... Oh, shoot. I started I started leaning to the right, so I had to just go for it. Otherwise, I probably would have tipped it and lost. Whoa. And then we have to go to a certain point on the Institute. And I believe it will spawn in an oversized cargo at that point, And then we can pick that up and bring that also to solar plant B. But we're going to pick up some fuel here. Because as you can see, I used it up all in the roof rack. So I drove this truck up and uh, decided to stop part of the way there. Oh jeez, no, 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 no. Ooh, man. Wow. That, uh, that was close. Okay, so I completely emptied the truck. Stole everything from the roof rack, stole everything out of the bed. So that pike is now completely empty on fuel. And we have some in our roof rack and a full tank. Okay, so it's called Railway Warehouse. This is the garage, so it's just down bottom left corner from there. We went out and up this way. I'm just going to follow this road and then cross here. And then I think once we get here, we'll actually just wait. Because then we'll switch to the other truck and then we'll drive them together because I might need fuel from this truck that I just stole all the fuel from. <laughs> so actually this one is empty as well. See, so as you can see, I stole all the fuel from this ANK and then we just stole all the fuel out of this one. But then once we get to that point, we'll have to visit the old steel mill, which is right here. And then we need to deliver to solar plant B, which is where we're headed with this load. An oversized cargo. So I think they're going to spawn in an oversized cargo around here. But we have the F750 and the Step 39331 Pike right there. Both of them have cranes. So I think I should be able to get it into the truck bed and then follow that along till the gateway here. And then we might just steal some fuel. I did empty the fuel out of the F750 and the step is still not full if I remember correctly. So here we go. And I don't know if I said which truck I'm using, but we're using the Western Star 47X NF1424. And sorry if I'm not talking very much during this part, guys. Uh, got some extremely noisy kids upstairs, so... I basically just have to mute whatever I say, or else you're going to hear all kinds of stomping and jumping around and screaming and stuff, so... If it's muted for a really long time, not much talking, that is exactly why. And I will boost the gameplay volume, I guess, at that point. And I have a headset on, so I can't hear, like, you know, it's somewhat blocking the noise. But if I can hear it, I know it's pretty loud, so...
All right. Well, as you guys saw, we uh, we flipped or got very close to flipping. Um, I would I would say I flipped, but. Technically, we never lost the engine, so maybe we didn't, and we were able to get it back up and going. And I think it's just... Oh, there it is over there. I was going to say, I think it's just up over the hill somewhere around here. Um, I was going through my trucks to find out which truck I could take out here, and I started driving out the Lodestar, and then I was like, well, shoot, that thing doesn't have any roof rack, and I, I need the crane, so I can't switch the add-ons, and the only add-on that has fuel would take away the crane, so uh, I had a step in there and I figured whatever I'll just take the step out of the garage I guess. Oh, I didn't even think I could recover that one that has no fuel. I should have done that. Well I guess it doesn't matter either way but um, yeah. I also thought about just driving to the next part. I'm gonna refuel this truck as much as I can now anyways. Wait, not the pike. Pike to there. And restore crane, change trucks, pack. Um, I was gonna drive the other truck, so it would have been the, the the pike that's on the other map, actually. But the second part of this is behind a stage. So basically, until I get these solar panels over there, I can't do the the next part. Ooh. Dude, I took a lot of damage. And, uh... I know Justin likes to... likes to get a little laugh on those. I complain, complain about getting a lot of damage, but I'm going full speed into rocks and bridges and... cement chunks, you name it. But now... now we should be fine because... well, not... I'm thinking about fuel-wise, because I have that step over there. And once we get through the the gateway with the second truck... Oh my gosh. Once we get through this, the gateway with the second truck, we should be able to refuel that one. Wait, I gotta... Never mind, I thought my turn was was back around there. It's, it's right here. Um, so, yeah, we... Once we do that... We can refuel that truck. Oh no. Okay. Oh. And uh, we should be able to get it from there. Which is good. And then, yeah, this truck will obviously be there because I planned on just siphoning off fuel from this one, but yeah, I didn't quite pay enough attention that. Uh... Oh wait, I was going to try and go left here. Whoa! I picked a perfect spot right where that hole was to stop, huh? Oh, we're stuck on that stump, aren't we? Yep. I remember seeing that stump and just barely avoiding it, so as soon as I couldn't back up anymore, I'm like, wait... Yeah, I was gonna check this route. See how this is? Basically just follow the, uh... I don't know what... what I was gonna call it a riverbed, but it's not really a riverbed. Whatever you want to call this... But I'll just call it a shoreline. And, yeah, this looks like it's pretty good, but there's a lot of stumps right there. So they, they kind of said, okay, you want to take a shortcut? Well, you can't come up here. So we'll uh, see how this goes. Okay, not too bad. Oh, I was expecting some gas tank damage there, but I was able to slow down just enough. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. I thought that was going to be way worse. So here we are at the second solar plant, or I guess solar plant B, I don't know why I said second one. We'll just park right on the very front side here. There we go. And we do need to get this delivered before that second part, second stage will unlock, so let's do that. Okay, so I did take all the fuel from the F750, I just wanted to confirm that I did. Um, I'm going to detach here quick. Just because I don't know where this thing's going to spawn and I might have to 
back into a weird area. Okay, there it is. Not bad. I brought up the menu and then the map and all kinds of stuff. So I'm kind of hoping I can just... Just pull this. Ooh. Oh, man, that was close. That would have sucked too, because like I said, that F750 is out of fuel. I don't know if I can even lift this with this, to be honest. Okay. This is all I really wanted, was to get it close to the road so I can grab it. So if I can do that, that is good enough for me. That's almost perfect, actually. It's kind of lined up with the road, too. Alright. So we'll hook up to our trailer, we'll drive up next to it, and we'll see if we can get it in there. I might have to detach again, uh, just to be able to pick up the the crate and get it in there, or not crate, cargo. Because I might not be able to get a good enough hold on it from where I'm at with the trailer to get it into the trailer. If that makes any sense at all, I don't know. But let's try to get real close. That's too close because we're pushing it. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to keep keep it really close. I don't know why it extended so much. Let's retract that. Okay, so we might be able to do this. There we go. Let's see if we can pull it just to flip it upright. It's it's sort of working. There we go. Now I gotta turn it. Oh, I might need to, uh... Alright, let's... I don't think this will pack, but let's try it. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. Alright, we're just... Uh, spinning the cargo and it's... It's working. We got our crane far enough away that all, all we're doing is spinning it. This might take forever, so... Alright, we'll see if that packs. It's as close as I can get close to the edge here. And it does. There we go. Restore the crane. And we'll get on our way here. I think we'll uh, repair our truck quick. What do we got? Some engine. And suspension. But yeah, that should... Uh, I think this should be good. This is still that same trailer, the one that's super beat up that we pulled from this map. I've been using this trailer for a long time now. Okay, so, um, this might not be the best idea, but it'll be more entertaining, I'll tell you that. So we're going to go off the road here, and we're going to try and, basically there's a bunch of mud off to the left over there. It's really not bad, but I just feel like uh, doing a little off-roading here. So we're going to try and hit this gap. We're going to go really close to that tree. A little bit too close, apparently. I, I tried to turn, but it, it's so much weight that it just carried me left. So I might need to pull on the tree. There we go. I wanted to go really far left just to make sure that I got inside of it. But, yeah, now I'm just going to cut through here, and then we're back on the main road. This is how I got there. I just dodged the little... 
Um, random damage, I guess. I just dodged a little bit of that stuff back there. The mud and the pipe and tree branches and stuff. It's funny because by the end of the phase, I have like all kinds of little shortcuts and then like, you know, you go back to there and you're like, shoot, where was all my shortcuts at? I remember I cut through here somewhere and like I remember there was a spot in phase six where I like cut straight up the mountain. There was one where I would take, I would run into trees and like literally knock the trees out. But there was another one where you didn't have to do that and you could go straight, not straight, but you could weave your way, even with a trailer like this size, you could weave your way up it without much issue. I would say without any issue if you know where to go, but yeah, it's pretty cool because it's, you know, it's so thick going up the mountains in some of those spots that it was kind of cool to find a nice little route that basically just, you know, if you knew where you were going, you could almost drive full speed and go weave your way through all these trees. There was just enough gaps for all of it, so kind of cool. I might not even need this fueling up here, so I'm going to try and I'm going to pass on it. Once we get into the next map, we're just going to go. I'll set it back today though, so it's a little brighter for you. Okay, here we go. So again, this is where we came out last time. Our truck's just off over there. There's that kind of little V in the road. I wonder if you could even go left around this lake area. I bet you could. I'm not going to try, but I bet you could. I noticed the fence, you can drive through it on pretty much everywhere on that uh, power, what is it, solar, po solar plant B. So I bet you could go to the left and go around this lake and just smash right through it. But I'm going to go basically the same way I did before. Just uh, once we get across over here, we're going to cut to the left and yeah, just try and take a little bit of a shortcut. I noticed we have a fine-tuned gearbox in this one. Or no, not fine-tuned, a... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, my engine did stall too. Just barely. Oh, wait. Oh, that one's not close enough. It's got to be the front one. Oh man, it must be just a, a little bit off. It allowed me to attach to here earlier. Oh, that is the same tree. What the heck? Dude, look how... Look how far away it is. This will probably stall it. <laughs> Are you serious? Oops. Alright, well apparently this pike is like the rescue truck of this, uh, this operation. It had to rescue both of our other trucks. So let's see, I think we might be better off uh, detaching trailer. We'll see here. We're going to try and get, yes, that one right there. That wasn't bad at all. So we'll start the engine here. I do want to get on a little better ground. So let's try and straighten it out a little bit more flat. There we go. Okay, we'll have to pull it towards us until it starts going up. There we go. Uh, didn't didn't quite work. Let's try this again. So I'm going to try and flip it upright. There we go.
Now we're going to try and get it to rotate into place. I don't know if you guys can see it rotating at all. Alright, we're going to try and do that again, but over here. Oh. I don't even know if it's moving. Okay, well, it looks like it's in good enough place to pack, so we'll just do that. Restore the crane. I'll reset it back today so it's just a little bit brighter. And we'll go across here. I'm kind of surprised that I lost, lost the cargo twice in the same mission. With different trucks. That's... Usually it seems like if I lose it, I lose it like three times with the same truck. And then the other truck is fine, but I guess uh, that's not always the case. I'm not sure if I'm driving down the exact same route as I did before, but all I know is this, this route overall was pretty good, so yeah. Alright, we're going to try and go just by this tree here. I remember last time this was quite steep. We'll try and see if we can cut to the side. There we go. Yeah, that should be it. I mean, we made it look really hard, but that wasn't too bad. I definitely should not have have flipped as much as I did. I was just, you know, going a little too fast. Like I said, to make the content a little bit more interesting, I tend to have a little bit more of a lead foot. And I'm alright with uh, either getting to the point A to point B faster, or having a little bit more entertaining video. So let's get this dropped off. Looks very nice. All right, 1,000 XP and 9,700 for money. Well, that is going to be it for this video, guys. As always, stay tuned to the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.